Mad, 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 Mad World. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was very funny. I saw that one when, when I was At a kid. At one point, they're, they're looking for this treasure, some of you, and they're looking for it, and they say it's under the big W. And they're walking around this park looking for it. They're going all around, and right there, it's in front, but it's so big, they don't see it. I mean, it's right there in their faces, but they don't see it. Well, this is a prophetic, I want to share a prophetic end time mystery that is like that big W. In other words, it is so big, and we have, it's right there, and we for the most part, have not seen it. This is going to be a kind of a whole new take on it. And I'm beginning with Daniel, Daniel 2. Daniel sees the statue of the kingdoms that represent the four great empires of the world. The last one being the fourth one is the, is the Roman. It's the final form. It, it's going to be the end time kingdom as well. So he sees all that there. Now, this is what he says about that fourth kingdom. Daniel 2 says this, verse 33. His legs were of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay, part... So, he, so the Roman Empire or the, is the, represented by the legs and then the feet. And then verse 40 says this, The fourth kingdom shall be as iron, as iron breaks in pieces and subdues everything, all things. As iron breaks all these things, it will break in pieces and bruise. And where you saw the feet and the toes, part of the potter's clay and part iron, the kingdom shall be divided. But there shall be in it of the strength of iron, as much as shall the iron mixed with the clay, and as the toes of the feet were part iron, part clay, the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And where you saw iron mixed with a miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but shall not cleave to one another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. All right. Rome. The traditional view of prophecy is this. Rome was the ancient kingdom. It fell in ancient times, long gone. We're waiting for when it will reappear. Now, there is tr that is true. That, that is true. Much can be said, but there's a whole other realm of this that is true that I believe we've missed. In fact, the fourth empire is already here. And let me, let me share. And let me share this. Here's the key. First key is the, the, the legs are divided. It's a divided, the, and then the toes, it says it's a divided kingdom, divided empire. And so it is divided in, in clay, iron, divided with the legs, divided there. It's an empire of division or duality. Two things, Rome, iron and clay. Rome was made up of the Romans, was also made up of peoples from all nations. Rome was divided literally into east and west. It became the eastern empire and the western empire. Now, Rome was also, is also divided in time. It stood then in ancient times. It will stand again in the end times solidified. So it's a divided essence is what we see here. What if the fourth empire, Rome, didn't end, still exists in a different form, it will exist in a, soli a solid form at the end, but what if iron breaks into pieces, but clay, it says, is broken. So it breaks, but it also, it breaks other things, but it also gets broken, and by doing that, it subdues the world. What, it, what is that? There are different ways of subduing the world. What if the Roman Empire, by actually breaking, has been part of subduing the world? Rome is gone, or is it? The picture we have is Rome falling in 476 B, B, A.D. Uh -huh. The German, Germanic tribes come in, wipe it out. But, the, what people don't know, by that time, Rome was already made up, the army was already made up of Germanic tribes of Rome. Not, though, much did not change when that happened. In fact, they even have a hard time making a real date of if it ended. It actually, the barbarians, who we say took over, continued to recognize the Roman Empire and said they are under the Roman Empire. Medieval civilization, Middle Ages, feudalism, was actually a carryover of Rome. It was just Rome breaking apart. It was the same mm -hmm. thing. The, la the language of Europe then was Latin, which is the language of the Roman Empire. It did not stop. 800 A.D., Charlemagne is crowned emperor of the Romans. The holy, this is long after Rome was supposed to be gone, is crowned the Holy Roman Emperor. Uh, Rome will remain the center of civilization for, for over a thousand years. Most of us learned in school about what we call the Renaissance. What's the Renaissance? The Renaissance is the rebirth of what? It's the rebirth of Roman culture. It was all about Rome culture infusing everything. Nin the year 951 A.D., the Pope, the Pope crowns the German emperor or conqueror Otto as king of what? The Germany? No, of the Romans. He's one of, one of those. It starts the, whole, the, the Holy Roman Empire. We've heard about the Holy Roman Empire. This, this is a continuation of Rome. Is happening, and one of those Roman, Holy Roman empires is called Charles V. One of his little piece of land was part of America. Now, America under this this emperor of Rome. Now, one of the what this is the fourth beast, but this is it has it goes much farther. What's happening is that Rome 
actually did not end. I mean, in one sense, once it, it spread through the world. It's been spreading through the world. Wow. It's been leavening the world. You can travel the, cap- the world and look at capitals of the world and all over you'll find their buildings are made to represent Rome all over the world. Roman law is the basis of much of law that we still get is still all over the world. When the, the Holy Roman emperor, emperor fell, or the, the, the empire fell, out of it was born Germany. The, the leader of Germany was called what? The Kaiser. What is Kaiser? It's Caesar. It means Caesar. Oh. Kaiser is simply the German way of saying Caesar. So here you have the Holy Roman Empire, then you have that. 20th century. A century of fascism, totalitarianism. Where does that begin? It begins with Mussolini. What was he trying to do? What was it? It was the revival of Rome. Hitler followed it for Nazi Germany. Where do you get the word fascism from? The Roman fascis, which is a, the symbol that Rome came up with, by which they, where they spoke of total absolute authority. That all, that's all, again, Rome. The, here's another thing. The Roman Empire morphed into a spiritual form, which we know as the Roman Catholic Church. In a spiritual yeah. form, the popes reigned, they, they ruled as what? What's their title? Pontifus Maximus. What's that title? That was the title of the Caesar of Rome. The emperor of Rome was the Pontifus Maximus. They took that from the same leader of Rome. They, the diocese, that's how Rome divided up Rome into diocese. Well, the, through the Catholic Church, it divided up, the world has been divided up as the Roman Empire. Now, I'm not saying people in the Catholic Church know this or, or that's the point, but this is all the same, the continuation of the same thing. What language? Latin. The, from Rome comes the idea of the global state. You know, the fourth kingdom, you know, actually from the pieces of the fourth kingdom, which are, became France, Spain, England, and others, they colonized the entire world. The entire world, in other words, Rome broke up into France, England, and they each became an empire that subdued the entire world. I mean, you know, you have, you have the Spanish Empire, the French Empire, the British Empire. The British Empire, just one little piece of Rome, subdued one-fourth of the entire world. Some say one-third of the world. In other words, Rome has already been spreading and has been subduing culture, has been changing culture. One of the colonies from that little fragment of Rome is America. Colony, with that word, even the word comes from Rome. It, and, you know, our building, you go to, go to Washington, D.C., and you'll see, look at the buildings there. The Capitol building is modeled yeah. after the Roman pantheon. The pantheon means the, the temple of all gods. That is our Capitol building. What does it rest on? Rests on Cap, Capitol Hill. What's that from? That's from Capitoline Hill, named after the Roman hill. You know, you can look at the Supreme Court building, same thing. It is the Roman thing. Even the word, the, what's our, our highest body of ruling? The Senate. Where's that from? Rome. The president, the word president comes from Rome. You know, all, the language of Rome, Latin, has, in one form or another, has covered the world. If you speak Spanish, that's basically Latin, just morphed. It morphed into Spanish. You speak French, it's Latin, morphed into, morphed into French. You speak you speak Portuguese, more, it's Latin. It's the Roman language, morphed into that. Romanian, same thing, all that. English, we say English. You know, English, what is English? English is Latin mixed in with German. In other words, it's <laughs> Rome and the barbarians come together. It's the iron and the clay. Mixed and so, together. I, mixed together, iron oh and the clay, and it's covered the world. The language of Rome. When did Rome fall? We said, we said 476 A.D. Not exactly. Rome split into two, just like the legs of the statue of Daniel, and the east and west. Well, the western empire, we said, has continued in all these forms. What happened to the eastern Roman Empire? Just as important. The, listen, the other half of when Rome fell, this is history, the eastern empire, Byzantium, fell in the year 1453. It was existing up to the time of just before Columbus. Rome never ended. The eastern Roman Empire actually from that came all Eastern Europe. They were descended from the Eastern part. Roma- all these the Eastern, they, they, they took the alphabet. They, when the Eastern Roman Empire fell, the niece of the last Roman emperor went up north and married a prince of another power that then said, we are now the third Rome. What nation was that? Russia. Russia was the third Rome. In fact, its, its symbol is the double-headed eagle which is from Byzantium. 
If you go from the, Rome, the Eastern Roman Empire, if you go throughout Eastern Europe, you'll find that symbol all over. So the thing is, and now the cold, when you had the Cold War, get the, the Cold War, you had the entire, you had the world divided up into two. And who was, who were the centers of this Cold War? You had America, which is descended from the Western em, Roman Empire. And on the other side, you had Russia, or Soviet Union, descended from the Eastern Roman Empire. So it's as if this global, getting ready for this global state, it's already there. And so and now we're watching the actual remains of the Fourth Empire, the, uh, Europe, coming together. And how did, you know, the, the, the European Union, how did they come together? What was the treaty? It's the Treaty of Rome. Rome. Now, and now we're waiting for the appearance of the Fourth Kingdom. One well, note of mystery. When Israel... 2,000 years ago, Israel was a, was a nation together. The Jewish people were fragmented. Rome spread the Jewish people all over the world. The, the Jewish nation was scattered over the earth. Well, God, whatever you do to Israel happens to you. So what happened is Rome, God scattered Rome all over the earth in the same way, in these forms. And so what's happening now is the Jewish people are coming back together. And as Israel's coming back as a nation, so Rome will come back in its from fragments to come back as that, na- that empire again. But the point is, it has, the mystery has already been continuing. It's been in our midst. We didn't, may not have realized it. It's happening all over the world. And it's being ready for that time. You know, as, and so if, if Israel, if Rome is returning to its, its original form, if, if Israel is returned to its original form, that means the church has to return to its original form. In other words, if this is all coming to the way it was back then, we have to come back. The church has to come back. And what's happening is the true church. I mean, there's an apostate church. But the true church, those who stand strong, we are, God is taking the church and bringing it back to its original form. What's that? It's not the status quo culture. It's a radical faith. It's the, it's the counterculture. It's a prophetic faith. Wow. It's, the, it's the underground faith. It's the, ra- it's the on fire faith of Paul and Peter. Yeah. That's what he's bringing back to. What else do we know about what's happening in the church? church has been for 2000 years or much of the age it's been joined to rome well now but in the beginning it was jerusalem well now god is having the church move more and more to jerusalem more and more centered on israel more and more joined together back to its roots back to, you know you never heard the word yeshua for 2000 years that's back in the church you never had jewish believers back in the, that's that, that's happening again you never had jew and gentile together again god is bringing us back to the form that we had and that's a good thing. And even yes. persecution, that's part of the mystery. And so the thing is that God wants to use all these things that we are more than a match for what happens at the end times. That if the world is taking its original form, we are going to take the form of the apostles, the disciples, the first believers of God in the beginning of the age that overcame the Rome, overcame the world. That's what we are here coming back to be. God is calling us to be part of the mystery. It is not a thing to fear. Do not fear the future. God's already in the future. We've got Jesus is waiting in the future, but also our prophetic destiny is waiting in the future. God has called us to play our part for such a time as this. Wow. Do you believe the Antichrist could come out of the... Roman Empire, this Roman revised Roman? Yes, yes. I mean, I know there's different views, of course. And, you know, and some will talk about the Islamic thing. Well, well, that was also part of Rome. Parts of that was part of Rome as well. Um, the Mediterranean was part of Rome. The North Africa was part of Rome. Uh, and, but certainly Western Europe is, was, you know, was part of Rome. Yes, I do believe that. It says in Daniel, it says, The people of the prince who shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. So who destroyed the city and the sanctuary? We talked about this at the beginning. Titus, the Romans did. So it has to be some, somehow it has to be linked to Rome in some way, in some way, you know. So one way or the other, yes. Mm. Yeah. This is such powerful teaching. It's so uh, powerful. Teaching. Wow. And America, people always say America is not in the Bible, but we've got to be there somewhere. So well, we're we not, are part of the... Well, we're part in, I think, in several ways, I believe. I mean, there are people who believe certain things are, but we have to say there's no specific reference saying specifically America as the head of nations, which means something. doesn't mean it's not important. I mean, it, it means that we will not end up being the head of nations is what it means. In the end times, we're not the leading thing. There are different references that people believe can be linked to us, and we're part of the picture, certainly. But I believe what that's telling us is we have to go from being the head of the nations 
to not being that where there's another head of nations. I believe that's what we're on the verge of. And that that's could, what that all could the begin in, in months and weeks. Could, could, you know, but I believe we're going there. And one of the signs is look at what's happening. America's falling. America is losing its preeminence is lo- all, in every way, morally, spiritually, and then economically. Ultimately, it's, it usually starts economic, and then military comes after. But we're already watching these things.